Okay, well, it looks like everyone is here. Let's play the video, shall we? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best animated comedy series ever. Attention, new New Yorkers! Stop acting so stupid! For this list, we'll be looking at the best animated series ever made with a primarily humorous focus. What animated show has made you laugh the hardest? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Beavis and Butthead. If you live to laugh, even if you say yes, it's probably nowhere to the level that Beavis and Butthead do. <laughs> and this laughing thing, what the hell's with this laughing thing? All the teachers are sick of it. Mike Judge's animated imbeciles made waves when they debuted on MTV, sparking both adoration and controversy over their reckless ways. Beavis and Butthead redefined the meaning of the word ignorant, causing issues and aggravation for everyone. Everyone that is except for themselves. Beavis? Butthead? What happened? Where's the couch? Where's the TV? Uh, the movers took it, dude. <sighs> oh! Aside from their misadventures, the duo is also fondly remembered for their hilarious riffing on music videos. Is this a commercial? Yeah. <laughs> it's a commercial for MTV's House of Butts. <laughs> the show's second revival recently premiered on Paramount+, Plus, proving just how timeless laughing at moronic characters can be. Number 9. Family Guy On the outside, Family Guy seems pretty normal. It's about a mother, father, their three children, and dog. Granted, one of the children is a baby with a fully formed vocabulary who sounds like a British adult. I'm free! Free from the spell of those diabolical Teletubbies! Thank you. When the world is mine, your death shall be quick and painless. Oh, and the dog can talk too. And that's just the start. Chronicling the Griffin family in Quahog, Rhode Island, it's a cartoon in every sense of the word. Patriarch Peter Griffin is a man so short-sighted and irrational, he makes other sitcom dads look like wise philosophers. I bought a tank! Are you out of your mind? Let me show you how the gun works. Ah! <laughs> but you might be too busy laughing at the cutaways to care. This is gonna be worse than that time I was stuck behind Robert Lozier at the airport. May I have your name, please? Robert Lozier. Can you spell that for me? Certainly. That's Robert Lozier. R as in Robert Lozier. O as in, oh my god, it's Robert Loggia. A show that embraces any opportunity to make its audience feel amused, angry, or generally confused. Family Guy is rarely in good taste, but it's often, as the saying goes, freaking sweet. My god, this house is freaking sweet! Welcome! Number 8, Bob's Burgers. When Bob's Burgers first premiered in 2011, it wasn't cleared if it'd be another animated also ran for Fox or a new hit. And while it wasn't a completely smooth start, the show proved too endearing to be kept down. You look amazing, sweetie, and you're gonna look even better on camera. You inherited my strong chin. Where's your strong chin, Mom? I can't see it. Keep looking, you'll find it. Following the Belcher family and their titular eatery, the show is a beautiful mix of character humor, musical numbers, and burger puns. It wouldn't be so great without characters as lovable as these, from level-headed father Bob to unpredictable youngest child Louise, and more. And I'll see you in hell, Teddy! I'm sorry, Teddy! I will uh. see you in hell! We also have to commend the amazing voice acting talents of cast members like H. John Benjamin and Eugene Merman. This is one show worth savoring every last bite of. You're my family and I love you, but you're terrible. You're all terrible. I don't say that. Well, that's all you say. Oh, you kind of do. Unbelievable. Number 7. The Boondocks. Plenty of comedy is centered around cultural clashes, but few do it as well as this. You give the meanest white man a piece of cheese and he turn into Mr. Rogers. Granddad, that doesn't make sense. Don't you talk back to me, boy. Creator Aaron Magruder adapted his own comic strip for a brilliantly incisive series. Living with their granddad in the predominantly white suburb of Woodcrest, brothers Huey and Riley Freeman encounter all kinds of obstacles and see just how complicated the world really is. Man, I can't believe this! You a fraud! Oh, 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 I'm a fraud! You scared too! I'm eight! The Boondocks caused controversy when it first aired and likely still ruffles feathers, but many of its messages still resonate and, unfortunately, likely will continue to. You know about that? Yes. Oh, you know about that? Tell me what you know about that! Tell me what you think about that! The prison industrial complex is a system situated at the intersection of government and private interests. It uses prisons as a solution to social, political, and economic problems. Anyone who thinks cartoons can't be insightful clearly hasn't seen this show. Number 6. Futurama Like far too many animated series, Futurama wasn't given a fair chance. 
at least not at first. This sci-fi series from Simpsons creator Matt Groening is both hilarious and enthralling. Oh, a lesson in not changing history from Mr. I'm my own grandpa. Let's get the hell out of here already. Screw history. Pizza delivery guy Fry wakes up in the year 3000 after having been frozen for a thousand years. <laughs> Before he knows it, he's best friends with a robot and visiting new planets. While plenty about Futurama is fantastical, its love of things like science and hilarious interactions help keep it relatively grounded. I am senior lecturer in physics at Globetrotter U, and I'd like to help you investigate. You're that bubblegum Tate? Well, I sure ain't his grandma. Poorly scheduled and eventually canceled by Fox, the show was brought back through multiple films and a Comedy Central revival. Still want more Futurama? In the words of Professor Farnsworth, good news! Another revival is set to premiere on Hulu in 2023. Good news, everyone! We were supposed to make a delivery to the planet Tweenus 12, but it's been completely destroyed! Why is that good news? They paid in advance. Excuse me. Number 5, King of the Hill. Lots of animated series, even ones we love, have a pretty tenuous grasp on reality. That's not the case with King of the Hill. A cartoon so down to earth, you have to remind yourself it's a cartoon sometimes. I provide the people of this community with propane and propane accessories. Set in the small town of Arlen, Texas, the show follows propane salesman Hank Hill, his family, and their various friends and adversaries. Oh, come on. I think the triangle can handle it. It's not a triangle. It's a damn pyramid! Another excellent series from Beavis and Butthead creator Mike Judge. King of the Hill mines its humor not from outrageous gags, but from observational dialogue and characters as relatable as they are amusing. My sloppy Joe is all sloppy and no joke. Hank Hill might consider himself a rather ordinary guy, but his show is extraordinarily funny. Okay, I get it, you're joking. Well, I've got a sense of humor. I laugh at Tony Danza. Number four, Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty originated as a more vulgar take on Doc and Marty from the Back to the Future series. And while that element has persisted, it's far more than that. I gotta admit, Rick, when you popped this scheme, I, 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 didn't, I wasn't sure it was gonna work. Come on, Morty. No union built on running from your problems lasts more than five years. Seven tops. Brilliant but uncouth mad scientist Rick and his hesitant grandson Morty go on all sorts of adventures through time, space, and everything in between. The chemistry between the two leads makes for one of the all-time great comedic duos. And the rest of the cast is also uproarious, particularly put upon Father Jerry. Innocent people are going to die because of me. Why am I so mediocre? It's a show you have to be careful about binging too much, though. It might give your brain and your funny bone too intense of a workout. I'm not a beaver who believes in Jesus Christ, Morty. But yeah, it's pretty much a Narnia thing. Number three, SpongeBob SquarePants. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? We know you know the answer, and you're probably singing the rest of the theme song. Hey, Squidward! I've got an idea. How about you come get it? Oh, gee, SpongeBob, that's a great idea. And maybe I should cook the patties and do the dishes and wear square pants and live in a pineapple. Nickelodeon had many successful cartoons before SpongeBob SquarePants came along. But Bikini Bottom's most absorbent resident captured our hearts and made us laugh like none other. With its mix of over-the-top slapstick as well as clever dialogue and all-too-relatable observations, SpongeBob is a kid's cartoon that adults can appreciate as well. But I have a theory. People talk loud when they want to act smart, right? Correct! And it's been on so long that some of its viewers have realized they've turned from SpongeBob into Squidward over time. But there's nothing that lifts us out of a low mood quite like watching this lovable and hilarious show. And who's a big yellow cube with holes? I am! Who's ready? Number 2, South Park. The animation style of this series might be basic, its impact is anything but. And I myself was not aware of this horrible show until recently. I have a clip to demonstrate exactly what I mean. Set in a small Colorado town, it follows four young boys and their various antics. If that sounds wholesome, just wait until you meet Cartman. Stop defending your little girlfriend for writing about some stupid fish. Dude, dolphins are intelligent and friendly. Intelligent and friendly on rye bread with some mayonnaise. Since premiering in 1997, South Park has courted plenty of controversy. Not only are its main characters foul-mouthed fourth graders, but the show also tackles topics that are widely considered taboo. Scientology is more of an alternative to psychology than a religion. Then how come that sign says Church of Scientology? 
Oh, that's just his thing. However, its boldness has made for some incredible comedy. Sometimes we're laughing because we can't believe what creators Trey Parker and Matt Stone have gotten away with. And more than 20 years later, we're still amazed by South Park's ability to strike a nerve in ways other shows would never dare. Oh, the tears of unfathomable sadness. Mm, yummy. Yummy, you guys. That's all, folks. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. BoJack Horseman. This Netflix series expertly mixed talking animals with deep psychological drama. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go take a shower so I can't tell if I'm crying or not. Archer. He's no James Bond, but this arrogant spy is a lot funnier. Damn, I had something for this too. Um, damn it. Eat grenades, stupids. Oh! Home Movies, a wonderful show about growing up and making movies. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Cut, Brendan. Cut. What, what's the matter? I moved to Spain and you never see me again the whole movie? Whoa, 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 one what question is going at a time. On? The answer to your first question, Melissa, is yes. And the answer to the rest of your questions also is yes. The Venture Bros. This cult favorite gave us one of the best animated families ever. Ma ventured and raised no fools. We, we don't have a mom, Hank. Gravity Falls. This Disney series is beloved by both kids and adult fans of shows like Twin Peaks. Remember, reality is an illusion, the universe is a hologram. Bye, Gold. Bye! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Simpsons Let's be honest, would most of the shows on this list even be possible without The Simpsons? We doubt it. It may be on a lousy channel, but The Simpsons are on TV. What started as an animated sitcom about a yellow-skinned nuclear family with a father who works at a nuclear power plant soon blossomed into something much bigger. The Simpsons have become some of the most beloved characters in pop culture history. <gasps> the Simpsons. Right this way, please. Homer, maybe fame and fortune aren't as bad as they say. And they remain popular even after more than 30 years on the air. Balancing down-to-earth humor with sharp satire and more absurd moments, the show set the template for so many others. And it's also proved so influential, it's brought new words into our lexicon. And biggins? Hmm. I never heard that word before I moved to Springfield. I don't know why. It's a perfectly cromulent word. At this point, the Simpsons aren't part of our world. We're part of theirs. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.